let's think about what's our relationship to the universe, what's the relationship between mind and universe, right? Okay. This so uh, basically the idealist position that you find in many Eastern religions, for instance, and is the one that we live in a dream, right? The reality that we perceive is not mechanical. There is something else going on. It's a dream in which magic is possible, in which you can have precognition, in which you can perform rituals that change the course of the planets and human destiny and so on, in which astro astrology works. All these things are only explainable not by us not living in a mechanical universe, but in a dream universe that is dreamt by a higher mind, by a mind on a higher plane of existence, right? So you can have these symbolic interactions. You make this ritual sacrifice, and as a result, your life changes. How is that possible? Th this is uh, something that we can basically only explain by accepting that we live in a dream if we think that is real. You could also say um, we have a dualist situation where your mind and the universe are basically separate computers that interact through an interface. Um, so we have our computational mind that is making sense of the world, and on the other side we have our computational universe. And um, the typical position that we have right now in our Western world is um, a monist position, where basically your universe gives you the computations on which you have um, your mind run. Basically the part of the universe that runs your mind is the brain, and on that uh, brain computer, we generate in interpretations of what's happening in the outside world. And we observe the world through some kinds of observational interface, like our retinas and cochleas and so on, mm -hmm. and the surface of our body. So basically, the mat materialist monism says the universe is mechanical, and everything that happens in your mind is part of that mechanism. Okay. okay. What I would suggest is a small correction or a small uh, change to this perspective. I think that these positions are uh, of materialism, monist materialism and monist idealism, where you only have dreams and where you only have um, the material world, are actually in some sense complementary. Mm -hmm. I think that you ne do exist in a dream. But it's a dream that is being dreamt in the brain of a primate. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the, right, and this mm -hmm. primate lives in the physical universe. Yes. So the mind of the, on the higher plane of existence is in physics. Physics is the higher plane of existence. The reason why uh, previous civilizations were largely not interested in describing this higher plane of existence is because they didn't have devices to play with physics or uh, because they didn't have social technology by which a philosopher could change uh, the feudalist agricultural society that they were living in. And they were not putting much emphasis on this, right? If you don't get along with the world as it is, you need to change the way you perceive it. You need to change your motivations. You need to change the way you generate your dream of the world and your place in it. And if you adjust this, you're usually fine. Or you're not, but you're as fine as you can be under the circumstances. Right? So basically, you focus on this inner world and how you generate your perception of reality in these techniques. And, and, and this is something that we largely don't do in the West. Our Western rationality was largely leave the mind alone. And instead, mm. if, if you don't like something, change reality. So we focus on this outside world, and we neglect the way our perception is generated. Mm, mm. And um, a lot of people, even a lot of Western philosophers, uh, are fascinatingly unaware of the fact that we live in a dream. That the same circuits that make dreams at night, they make a dream during the day. Only the dream during the day is tuned to predict your sensory patterns.